In this video, I'm going to talk about a situation where you sent a customer an invoice in WAVE and they paid the invoice through some sort of outside processing service and the amount deposited to your bank account was different than the invoice payment amount because of processing fees. And this happens in processing services such as Stripe. I'm not sure about PayPal. Some of the processing services have separate line items on your bank account, and then some just net the difference and give you the difference. So it just depends on which service you're using. But if you're using a processing service that just deposits the net, then you're gonna need to know how to handle it. So the first thing you're gonna want to address is the fact that the customer from their end, pay the invoice in full. So you would record the payment from the customer just like normal. So let's just use, for example, this $750 invoice that was paid, processed through a service, and the net you received was $720 after $30 of processing fees. So you would need to give the customer credit for the full amount on this end, on the invoice side. So I would just record a payment like normal. I'm gonna go ahead and submit this. Okay, so that shows the invoice paid in full. Now I'm gonna go over to the accounting transactions. This is where your bank transactions are gonna show up. Well, on the bank side, it was only a $720 deposit. So I'm gonna to need to fix this or change this. So I'm gonna choose the drop down arrow and do edit more details. So this now represents the deposit to the bank account, but I'm gonna need to fix this so it's only $720 showing here. And the way I'm gonna do this is using this split transaction tab. Now here I need to actually fix this because I have the deposit amount is 720, but I need the invoice payment line item to show as 750 so that the customer gets credit for the full amount that they paid. But then I need to account for the $30 difference. Well, if I try to put negative 30 in here, it won't let me put a negative. Like I can click on the negative all day long and it's not gonna let me subtract anything. It's not gonna let me subtract some sort of bank fee or some type of expense. The only options here are income, assets, liabilities, and equity. And I could do refund for an expense and put in bank service charges. But again, it's not letting me put in a negative. So now I've got a $60 difference here and I'm gonna need to fix this. Now in the category, if I go back, up here you can see that there is a discounts and fees option. This is what I'm gonna to use to edit and fix this transaction. But first I'm gonna to need to add an account for the processing fee. So I'm gonna show you how to do that first. And once you have that set up, you'll be able to use it every time. So I'm gonna go over to the chart of accounts. I'm gonna to go to the expenses tab, scroll down, and you can see that there is a payment processing fee option. This is what I'm gonna use. So I would add a new account. I would make sure that that account is expenses, payment processing fee, and then I'm gonna give it a name. And save it. Okay, and then I'm gonna go back over to that payment under transactions, and I'm gonna click on this little drop down arrow again, edit more details, and I'm gonna change the deposit amount to 720. And then again, I'm gonna choose split transaction. I'm gonna change the invoice payment amount to 750 so the customer gets the full credit for paying their invoice. But then under the category, I'm gonna to need to choose that account that I just created. So I would click on discount and fees, and right there is my processing fees account. Notice how it automatically changed that to a negative, and this is a positive. So the payment amount was positive, but then I'm subtracting $30 of processing fees to get the net amount of 720. Now I would just save that. 
So now what I did was fix the bank transaction to match 720, which is what I'm gonna actually see coming into the bank. And then under the invoices tab, I still show that that customer paid that invoice in full. Let's just look at the report so we can see what that looks like on the profit and loss. So I'm gonna go to reports, profit and loss, and I'm just gonna look at this month. Okay, so there's the 700, I'm gonna look at the details. There's the $750 as payment from the invoice. There's the $30 processing fee under expenses. And then here's the net profit of $720. So I hope that clears up any confusion you may have had. And if you have any questions, just comment below and I'll try to answer those questions if I can. And otherwise, thank you for watching.